First, close your hand to form a fist. Now extend your index finger. Good. To proceed, use your index finger to press the hollow button in front of you. Now reach out and grab the glowing disc in front of you. When you are ready, throw the disc into the goal in front of you. That's a goal. Excellent throw. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Basic motor functions. Please reach up and pull the release handle to exit the pod. This labor unit will guide you through the module. Now carefully follow it by pulling yourself through the environment using any solid surface. Take your time and follow the guide. There's no need to rush. Now carefully pull yourself forward and release to glide to the exit. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Maneuvering thrusters. Your hands are equipped with maneuvering thrusters, allowing you to move more freely in zero gravity. Activate your left thruster. Activate your right thruster. Now please exit the activation pod and use your maneuvering thrusters to reach the door ahead. Thrusters can be used in short bursts, or to proceed, touch and hold the hollow button near the door. Great! Now try to navigate through the next room using only your maneuvering thrusters. Do not grab or collide with any surfaces during this test. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Primary boosters. Your EVA pack allows you to boost forward in the direction you are looking. When you are ready, please exit the activation pod and use your EVA boost to reach the console ahead. Well done. Please press the hollow button to continue. Just when I think your button mashing skills couldn't get any better. Now boost to the end of the hall before the walls close in on you. Multiple boosts may be required. Reboot initiated. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Breaking thrusters. This module will calibrate your braking thrusters, which will allow you to stop in place without grabbing any surface. Please exit the activation pod and proceed to the room ahead.
Please proceed to the next room. There are two target zones in the next room. Please boost into one of the zones and use your braking thrusters to come to a full stop. Success! Now, use your braking thrusters to stop inside target zone B. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Movement locked. Welcome to the Echo VR Lobby. In the lobby, you can queue up for matches, customize your appearance, or even just hang out with friends. Social features are accessible via your arm computer. Bring it out by unlocking the wrist slider on either arm. Good. The arm computer is your window into the social world of Echo VR. You can use the ARM computer to view players in the lobby, create a party to play games, or access your friends list. To help us focus on the task at hand, let's temporarily hide the players in the lobby by ghosting them. Ghosting mutes and transforms players, making it easier to focus. Do this by first pressing the global social control button on your nameplate. Next, select the highlighted ghost all button. Great. Everyone in the lobby has been ghosted. Don't worry, I'm sure they won't be offended. On this screen, you can easily mute yourself, mute other players, or ghost other players. If you ever need to, you can access individual user controls by selecting the social control button by their nameplate. Privacy is always at your fingertips, but remember, Echo VR is best experienced with others. I'll unlock your ARM computer now. Close out of it by grabbing the tablet and throwing it away. Good. Next, I will introduce you to terminals. Terminals are your gateway to the many functions within the lobby. Each terminal has its own purpose. The most important of these is the matchmaking terminal, located directly in front of you, near the end of the corridor. I've placed an objective marker to help you find it. I'll unlock you now. Meet me down by the terminal. I'm right over here when you're ready to proceed. You're doing great. The matchmaking terminal lets you play games against other users. It also allows you to start private matches with friends. Why don't we run through a training simulation, help prepare you for your first match. When you're ready, press the simulations button to start the simulation. Loading simulation now. Movement locked. Welcome to the Beginner's Arena simulation. Here, you will learn the rules for Echo Arena and all the core skills you need to compete. This is the team spawn room, where you and your team begin each round. When the round starts, by grabbing a catapult and launching yourself out of the launch tube. Make your way up to the topmost launch tube. Movement and lock. Remember, you can grab the side rails on your pod to exit. When you're ready, head into the launch tube near me. Make your way up to the head inside and grab the catapult ring anywhere. Be sure not to let go. Keep holding onto the catapult. When the timer hits zero, a launch icon will appear. Using your other hand, touch the icon to launch forward. Nice launch. Welcome to Echo Arena. 
Take some time to acquaint yourself with the play area, and then meet me on the opposing team side. Well done. Please press the hollow button to continue. Great. I've relocked you in place to help you avoid any free floating while you learn the basics. Echo Arena pits two teams against each other for control of the Echo Arena disc, competing to score points by throwing the disc through the opposing team's goal. A good team balances defending their goal as well as competing for the disc to shoot goals. You can see what that looks like down below. Looks like the blue team scored a goal. After a goal, players are sent back to their spawn rooms, and the countdown for the next round begins. The team with the most points when the timer elapses wins the match. Let's teach you the core skills of Arena, starting with shooting. Press the button in front of you to create a disc, and throw it through the goal. Can you make three successful shots? Fantastic! Two more! Great form! One more! Well thrown, your shooting is almost as impressive as your button mashing. Other players will be defending the goal, so you'll need to shoot from different angles. Score two more goals from this position. Good shot! Score one more goal from this new position. Nice work, Echo Unit! You're adapting to your new Zero-G environment very well. Now let's see how you handle playing defense. I've moved you in front of your team's goal. Defend the goal by catching the disc before it passes through the goal. Successfully defend it five times to proceed. Firing away. Fantastic! Four left. Catch! That's it! 
Three left. Catch this. Perfect. Two left. Coming at ya. You're doing great. Just one left. Eyes up, Echo Unit. Well done. A good goalie is irreplaceable. However, even the best players need to know how to defend themselves. Echo Arena is, after all, a contact sport. Uh-oh. Feeling a little disoriented? That blow to the head has left you stunned. Being stunned causes you to lose all momentum and temporarily disables your thrusters. But most importantly, being stunned will cause you to drop the disc, if you happen to be holding it. You can stun opponents by punching them in the head. To punch, form a fist in either hand. Keep it held to activate your stun glove. Perfect. Now try punching the cube set. Imagine it's an opponent's head. Nice form. Remember to aim for your opponent's head. Punching anywhere else is useless. It's like pressing buttons, but harder, and with a fist. Why don't you stun a few more? Punch the remaining CubeSats to proceed. Great job! One more! Oops! This CubeSat is a bit more clever. It blocked your punch, which stuns you instead. You can avoid being stunned by holding both fists near your head and holding the triggers to block. Try it now. Great! Now try blocking the CubeSat as it moves to hit you in the head. You can see it was stunned instead. It's important to know the right time to punch and the right time to block. For your final challenge, let's see if you can learn to react properly using the CubeSats. Pay attention to whether they're blocking or attacking to determine when you should block or attack. Okay then, knock out the remaining CubeSats. Make sure not to punch CubeSats that are blocking. Stay sharp. That was the last one. Fantastic. You've completed the simulation. Well done. I'll return you to the lobby now.